saying always the best person to get in. Person, I'm failing comp, don't do that. Anyway, you know, sometimes it's not such a bad thing to fail a course. It happens. Life goes on, you do it again. Life does go on, yeah. <sighs> I mean, if you don't love comp, you can just consider doing a different degree. I do love these names, okay? What's all the cat ones? I don't really love cats. Where is Morgan? Question for the ages. Hello? Morgan Zhang, oh good. Okay, Morgan's had a name change, that's what's happening. Um, someone else is dropping out. Well, a few people dropping out apparently. Check email, will do. Good, I better be winning this. This is probably the worst Kahoot ever, I'm sorry in advance. The OG Wilson, good to have you. All right, let's start. Yay, welcome to week 10. Help me in maths. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I've looked at the maths lecture notes. I cannot help you. <laughs> Made me feel better about mine though, so that's good. Okay, um, no, you'll do great. First year is the hardest, I think, at uni ever. Let's just, let's just keep going before I give any more life advice. Um, all right, also just, yeah, warning, this is not one of the best cahoots ever. Yeah, good. Just testing your eyesight as well, preparing you for the exam. Oh, oh, that really hurts. All right. Okay, good. Um, if you want to look over here, the size is five. So when you use F gets, you're only going to take in five characters. <laughs> Life goes on. Okay, the, okay. Comp Pro. It's good to see the humility in this, in this Kahoot quiz. Very nice. All right, next.
very good. Yep, it'll set all of it to zero. Where is Morgan? I really wish I could read what this says. <laughs> I want to know what it says now. He wants to Google Translate it for me. Oh, you can't. You can't copy and paste. Only I can do that. All right, I'll leave that. I don't know if I want to do it in the lecture, just in case. <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time with these pieces of code that are way too big to be seen from far away. Bless you. Oh, all right. Love that. Okay, we'll talk about that. The Comp Pro is taking the lead. Wilson Zhang is now coming in. Excellent. were changed. Oh, Wilson. Well done. But not the original, just another Wilson. good um, no not very good how is that possible <laughs> I went the opposite way the red is what happened did I do the wrong steps <laughs> this feels like I did the wrong steps how can 96 people get it wrong uh, who knows I'll look at it later I'll get back to you Leon good job number three number two is Wilson yay but not the original and the first place is Oscar be ready. That person wasn't even there half the time. Who is this person that just came in from behind? Oh, come on. I know that you're in here because no one online can ever win because they have a delay. Unless. Just throw some around. It's week 10. Just throw some out. This is going to take a while if you're going to be putting a few on people's desks as you go. You just threw some to an empty spot. I'm judging you. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, move faster. Don't stop. Just tempo, tempo, tempo. Just go up those stairs. You can do this. Come on, moving, moving, moving. I feel bad for the people on the outlying ends of the theatre. I don't know why I can't think of a word of what an outlier is in terms of seating. What is it? The edges. Thank you, not an outlier. <laughs> I'm in stats mode. All right. Does anyone else want a lolly? There's so few people. Hey? Yeah, let's do it again in halftime to wake everyone up. 
Let's keep this sugar rush going. Okay, fantastic. Um, good, 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 good. Okay, um, welcome to week 10. It's the last week of 1511. Um, it feels like quite a, <laughs> quite a few have dropped off. So, well done, you're still standing for those that are still here. Um, week 10 is revision week, so nothing new learnt um, this week, just fun. Um, since there's not many of you as well in the theatre, we might do, I don't know, other stuff, who knows. Um, maybe one of you will come up and do some coding, who knows. Um, it's our morning to do with as we want. Um, okay. So today we're going to do some revision. Last week you did some stuff, linked lists, then we talked about the exam. Um, someone asked me to talk about what functions from standard libraries you might need in the exam. Um, so I will do a little bit of that today um, in a question as we get to it. Um, and then we're just going to go through um, some revision, really. We're going to do a whole bunch of, oh good, good, yep. Um, for those of you that can't see, yep, there we go. Okay, live lecture code, um, and I forgot to upload the lecture notes, apologies in advance. My experience, yet again, um, as I was constantly told to remind you, you have to do my, ex well, you don't have to do my experience, it's your choice to do it, but it helps to improve the course. So if you have time and you will be forced to have time during your lab time, um, my experience will pop up again and you'll be asked to fill it out about your experiences in the course, what you felt could be improved, what you felt was done well, and we do value that um, very much and do take it into consideration to improve the next iteration. Okay, uh, revision classes. In week 11, there's going to be a note up on the forum uh, about um, coming to them, Tuesday and Monday. I don't know why I did them in opposite order. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But the face-to-face -face one's on Tuesday. The online one is on Monday. So please register for one um, if you want to come and revise for the exam. Also, um, CSC SOC is doing a revision session as well. Um, and I guess last minute, um, because last minute. But it is tomorrow. Um, so if you want, they're doing 4 till 7 p.m. They do some questions that they've um, cooked up. Um, I can't promise that those questions um, will not leave you crying, but maybe some will. Um, so they're running their session 4 till 7. They usually pr put on some snacks, pizza or Subway. Um, don't know who likes. Anyway, maybe someone does love Subway, so then good for you. Um, so that's 4 till 7 tomorrow if you wanted to go to that. Um, and I think you just show up. Um, is that right? Have you ever been to one? I used to go to them just for fun um, and they need more snacks, that's what I felt. Um, okay, I'm going to show the exam environment really quickly for those um, that are online in particular and for those that might not get a chance to come into the classroom. Oh my God, it's been, I've had 12 hours sleep. I don't know why I'm this tired. Um, so for those that will not come into the classroom or may not get an opportunity until the exam time, it'll be really quick. You will be ushered into the room. And I forgot to tell you last week, you can bring in a clear water bottle with you into the exam. If your water bottle is not clear, please don't do that. It means that I will feel bad for you and have to run around trying to find uh, a clear water bottle for you to be able to drink. But then again, you should be able to go three hours without taking a sip of water. Um, although these days we do all like to be hydrated, so maybe you can't. Um, so a clear water bottle you can bring in with you. Don't bring in those solid ones because, I don't know, what if you write code on the inside of your water bottle and then you look into it during the exam? It's no chat GPT, but maybe it can help you. Um, for all of those of you as well using chat GPT as a crutch, I would stop right now and start doing your own coding in practice for the exam. Please, um, you will do yourself um, a bit of a favour doing that. Okay, so you will come in and you will see something that looks like this and you will be asked to log on um, and look at me. I've done my cyber security training. My password is now, yep, not correct. Um, it's because it's too many characters. Alright, be 
the chat. I need to go off and change my password. Um, and now you also know that I love Sherlock Holmes. Well done. <laughs> Although it's not the right password, so I actually do not know what my password is. Um, Gab, would you like to come and log on for me? I clearly do not know what my password is. Um, who wants to change my password for me whilst this lecture's going so that no one tries to access my... I should oh, wait, actually do it happening? now. <laughs> do you want to... Just give me a second. <laughs> <sighs> was that fun? Super fun. <laughs> You're not going to see anything special, I promise you. What? Oh my god. I can't disconnect it from there. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I know what I can do. I can do it on this on this thing. Okay, Gab, you come and log on for me on this one. It's all happening. I've got this. Um, security is excellent. Here we go. I'm going to do it on this one. Okay. Oh, just heard someone say a bad word. Someone's dropping f bombs. <laughs> Wasn't me. Torture. I hope nothing else um, now fails because I've just. Okay, my password doesn't meet the conditions. Who knows? Passwords. Everything should just be based on. <laughs> All right, done. That was exciting. Okay, don't do don't do what I do. Um, and Gab's logged in. Okay, good. Thank you, Gab. So what you will see when you log in, well, it won't be the practice exam. It will be this week, but not when you sit the exam. You'll actually have the exam on here. You'll be able to right click to um, uh, open up the um, the website and stuff, the course website, and look through things. This is going to be what you will see today, is you will see an example of a paper which is going to have some questions. I strongly recommend that you actually read this paper information stuff before you head into the exam. It's going to be exactly the same as what is in the exam and it really just says um, kind of obvious things but also not obvious to, uh, as well. So don't share any information about the exam, it feels like obvious. Um, don't disclose your Z-Pass to another person, so <laughs> don't do what I just did today. Um, otherwise, you can all, you know, go everywhere. Do not try and remember exam questions and then go and put them up uh, on a repository um, that is public. We will find it and we will find you. Um, not a threat, just a fact. Um, and don't make it accessible to anyone. So even after you finish the exam, don't go on Reddit and start discussing it. Don't go on Discord and start discussing it. We are monitoring all of that. We don't want you to discuss the exam because there is a few days of the exams. Um, so please don't, okay? Um, okay, two exam hurdles, what I've talked about um, as well, an array and a linked list hurdle, so it kind of details what's going on there. And then, oh, someone's whistling. That's not a week 10 vibe. Um, then it says a bit about the exam environment, so the fact that it's got starter files, um, 
it will they'll be there when oh, well that they'll be in your home directory when you log into the exam um, what that also means is that sometimes we can't quite see um, please submit as many times as possible and remember to submit all of your questions because it makes it we can't see as many auto tests on this environment as we can normally so it makes it hard to pull out um, your code um, at the start of the exam, you're going to get 10 minutes reading time. That means you don't code, um, you don't write on paper, you just read through the paper um, and hopefully um, just feel confident as you do it. Um, so you, you, know, you will feel good and strong. Submit as many times as you wish. Only the last submission will be marked. Um, don't leave it to the last minute to submit because you might well, we're actually using five servers to do the exam, so hopefully you will not overload the server as all of you start to submit at the end. But who knows, uh, maybe you do. Please don't do that, because then you might not be able to successfully submit your question. So just submit. As you do it, submit. As you do it, submit. If you go back to it, just submit again. It doesn't matter. Um, OK, uh, so make sure that everything is submitted um, what I said please please don't just rely on running the auto tests that we have uh, what you have written okay um, auto tests are available for all of your questions and they just they just diminish as you go up the questions and we again no full marks just because you've passed all the auto tests there are hidden tests um, okay uh, no marks for style and no marks are awarded for commenting, but I do enjoy comments. So if you have time and feel so inclined, I do love a good comment. Um, and by that, I just mean they don't even have to make sense. They just have to be fun uh, because it's quite tedious to mark exams. That's beside the point. Tangential. Fit to sit. I'm going to say it again. If you are sick, please don't show up to the exam. Please, 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 please. Just apply for special consideration. Do not sit there, feel like death itself, um, and then need to leave halfway through after you vomit or whatever in the exam. Um, it has happened one year ago, a chain reaction. Gab was invigilating in the room. That was the first one to go. Um, I bathed them in... Um, hand wipes, but it was not enough to, I think nine people went by the end of that exam. So please, if you don't feel well, just don't show up. Um, uh, we don't need um, a vomit fest. Oh, I hate vomit. Um, and just, oh, well, who doesn't really? Okay, so, but if you do show up to the exam and you feel great on the day, but an hour into the exam, you start feeling absolutely awful, okay? Do raise your hand um, and do get walked out of the exam you will get taken to the well-being medical place and you will be able to see a doctor and say what you're feeling. Okay, please, if you are feeling awful, do not continue with the exam. If you feel like you're going to pass out, do not continue with the exam. The exam is not that important. It's first year, intro to programming, who really cares, right? Your health is more important. If you're not feeling well, just leave. You will be able to get a special cons and a sup exam, you know, you are more important than this one exam. Okay, technical issues. Hope against hope that you will not experience them, but things have been known to happen. Um, we have had <laughs> servers go on fire during the exam, so that was really good fun. Um, you will be evacuated if that does happen um, because the servers are in, in the building. Um, so just... Uh, hopefully no technical issues, but if something goes down, just raise your hand and we will help you. Um, if something has gone down for everyone, you will get more time, obviously. And if it's not a, if it's a us problem, not a you problem, you will get more time um, to kind of, you know, work through the exam. Which means that if you're in the morning session, the people that are sitting and being corralled, enjoy. You'll be sitting there for longer. Okay, so. Um, you will see something like that. It's just going to be a beautiful exam. Uh, you're going to do great, okay? Um, today I thought the questions were too easy, so I'm going back to change them. Um, just a few questions, so to make them a bit harder, which is probably not what you wanted to hear, and I probably should have kept that to myself, but I'm not keeping anything to myself, not even my password today. Um, okay, so um, that is what it looks like. That is the practice environment, and um, you know, you'll see it today in your labs. If you are online, you cannot access this environment until you come in. It's really useful for you to come in physically 
for this and to submit in this environment so that we know that you can successfully submit so that it doesn't go downhill in the exam. Okay, that's it. Any questions about the exam? Oh, I really thought you were going to raise your hand, but you are not. No questions about the exam. Everyone's just raging to get in there and do the exam. We won't need two-factor authentication. No, you won't. We had that one year and that was awful. Okay, so what you see, someone's asked a great question, where is the terminal? What a fantastic question. You will see this that will be on the screen the whole time, right? Middle mouse button will paste any highlighted text. Right mouse button will bring up the menu. Alt left mouse button, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then you can drag to resize things as well. Um, now, once you click that, it's all over. So over here on the tool, oh, I'm on a Mac, which makes it a, a lot harder to do anything right now with no mouse. Um, you will be able to bring up the coding environment by right clicking on the mouse, on the background, right? Um, like when you click on here, oh, oh, it's doing it, beautiful. So view questions, you've got the course website available to you, you've got the terminal, and then you've got your VS code um, as well. So you'll be able to start it and do everything with the right click. And I'm like, that's not, that's because it's Gab logged in, okay. Um, as you can see, all the code, um, all the starter code is in there. It's, they're not the done questions, don't worry. We're not that, well, could have happened really today. Um, so you'll see all of that and you'll be able to successfully complete the exam. Um, any other questions? No? I'm logging off. Log off. Yep, yep, good, good, good chat. Everyone's feeling really good. Um, Okay, fantastic. All right, how is everyone feeling in week 10? Amazing, good. Okay, um, I have a whole bunch of one dot questions. Does anyone want to do one dots or move straight to two dots? Let's have one dot, raise your hands. Two dots, raise your hands. Oh, well, I say that decision has been made, okay. Actually, one thing I would like, who wants to see a debug question? Yeah, let's see a debug question, So that and that's going to be a one dot, and then we'll move straight to two dots um, and call it a day. Okay, oh, someone said no. Okay, so now, okay, I shouldn't ask because it's going to be a mixed bag. We're just gonna do one debug, then we'll move on. Okay, so for a debug question, you're going to get something that says, the following code's meant to join some, well, the following code's meant to do something. This particular one is meant to join two strings together and form one string. So for example, if the user inputs pass and word, the return printed output should be password as one string. Um, and then in much better formatting than this, you'll get given what the actual terminal input and output is. And the question will say there are currently a number of issues in the code that you must fix for the code to work correctly and produce the desired output. This may include changing lines, adding lines or removing lines. Submit your working version of the code. Excellent. So then you will see in your starter code something that will look like this, which is going to have um, a little comment. That's what the code is meant to do. Um, a bit passive aggressive, good luck. Um, may the force be with you. And then you get given the code that has a mistake in it. If there is a section or a function of the code that doesn't have any issues, we're gonna tell you that. We're not um, horrible enough to leave you kind of fixing things that don't exist. So it will say this function is correct as given, you don't need to modify it for the question. So when you see a debug question, the first thing you should do is you should just compile it and run it to see what it actually does for you. So if we compile it and run it, um, it's going to give us some errors. And I'm going to, I think, um, Not having a day today. I, I can, I've just, just give me a second. I'm just, oh, let me just, I just need to kill a few things. 
And by that I mean terminals, not anything else. My God, that was an awful... Okay, um, so we've compiled it. Let's have a look what's going on. Um, Okay, first uh, issue is here. So what do you think is the issue and what should you fix if you see that to compile it? It's a warning, it's not an error. Yeah. Yeah, and also, if you ever see scanf percent s, I want you to delete it and just call it a day. That's an awful way to scan something into a string. There are issues, and just use f gets. But yes, your reply was correct. So you're going to scan it into string one, and well, I could use a hash define, but I'll just use the 50, and you're scanning from standard input. Okay, and I guess we do the new thing. We do the same thing over here. Do you need to include your name and ZID at the top of the file? You do not need to do that. Don't worry about that. Okay, it's calling a function called strip new line, which is just taking off the new line if you use fgets. Um, so what happens now? You've changed one thing or two things, compile it again. Okay, that's an error that I've created. That's not a debug thing. Oh, it's going to be one of those lectures, isn't it? Okay, so good. Now, what have we got here? We've got another error, use of undeclared identifier, len, uh, and it's actually length. So we're going to change all of those to, say, length, and then compile it again and see what it's actually doing. Okay, so we've got length here, length... Mm. Okay. So let's run it now. Okay, so now it compiles it. Uh, do we think it's going to give the right output? Yes, no, maybe? Who thinks yes? Who thinks it's that easy to get five marks in the exam? No one. You are right. It's absolutely not that easy to get five marks in the exam. Um, okay, so there we go. It gives us the letter P. Okay, so now the real fun starts because now it's logical errors as opposed to compiler errors that are easier to fix because you get a little bit of warning. A reminder, there is no DCC help in the exam, just DCC. So you've just got to go with whatever the DCC output is and what it's telling you to do. Okay, so what does this kind of tell you, this output over here, tell you about this question? Yeah. So it seems to only be printing out first character. So the first thing you would do is maybe go to the printout and see what, it, well, I mean, there's no surprise it's printing out the first character. It's literally doing just that. So I guess we'll change it to a string and we're going to print out this string. So let's see what it's doing now. Do we think it's that easy? I think maybe we're on three marks now. Oh. Okay, uh, oh no. Really annoying. Okay, great. We've gotten further. We're now printing out the very first string. So clearly something is wrong in the way we are putting things into the array. All right, so let's have a look what it's doing. So over here, we've read in the two strings. First string is read in. Great, so now we assume it's in here. We've stripped the new line from it. Then we read in the second string. Um, using fgets, we strip the new line from that, and then we get the length of both of those strings. So um, functions like str, len, they're often used in the exam. You do often use things from string.h standard library. However, if we ask you a question that says do not use the string.h library, then you have to write it all yourself. Um, so, but we will explicitly say that. That's probably the most used one um, out of all of them. Okay, so we've got the length of the first string and the length of the second string. Then the if statement is saying if length one plus length two is greater than 100, 
So if the two words together are greater than 100 characters, then we're going to say strings are too long to concatenate and we're going to return one. Okay, that's clearly not happening here. We've got four and four, so we've got eight characters. So this if statement is not going to feature in why this is not working. So we're going to go to the for loop and we're going to see what the for loop is doing. So the for loop in this case starts your i at zero. It's going until i is less than or equal to length one plus length two. So in this case, it's going to go till eight. So from i is equal to zero, it's going to go until i is less than or equal to eight and you're going to increment i after each. Um, okay, and then in here, you're going to start putting things into your new array. So that means whatever is happening at, um, I don't know, the first one is going to be whatever was in the first string at index zero. Okay, so what do you think is wrong here? Yeah. It what? It shouldn't? Okay. Yep. I agree with both of those statements. So sh should it, bleh, it shouldn't have a plus length two because I'm only just putting in whatever is happening in the first string. So it seems a bit um, too much to keep going. Yep. It depends what you're going to do in the next for loop, yeah. So you can get it working, but it depends what you're going to do in the next for statement, how you're going to continue scanning it in. Okay, um, so in this case, I'll go until i is length 1. So if i is um, 4, then it's going to go at 1, at 2, at three. So it's going to put in whatever's at string zero. Okay, so this is going to mean that that's going to have, if we go from the first one, that's going to have P, that's going to have A, that's going to have S, and that's going to have S. Okay, so when we come out here, our i is equal to 3 in this case. Yep. So when we come out of this for loop, i is equal to 3. So what I do in the next thing is, let's see, actually, let's compile and see what happens. So always compile intermittently to see what happens in the debug questions, to see what else you need to do. Okay. So... It's still doing, you know, it's still doing that one term. Okay, what should I do next? What's going, what will I do? Yeah. Um, so it's iterating from length one to length two, but length two, like, it, because where can the contact should be going up, like, length one is length two, so it's not really like doing anything. Yeah, exactly. So right now that's saying, okay, if int i is equal to length one, which is four, um, until i is less than or equal to 4, which doesn't make sense. So this should really be going from um, my f where I finish to the size of the whole thing. Okay, so then let's see what happens. Do we think it's going to work now? Nope. Why isn't it going to work? I won't compile it if... Yeah. <sighs> yeah, okay. So you can have a look at what it's doing and it's, oh God, why did I choose this question? Also like foreshadowing this password fiasco. Um, okay, so I'm still on pass, nothing's still happening even though I've added all of that. Um, and why is that? Yeah, so someone is saying it's because also this string two is going on eyes as well. So I'm just creating absolute rubbish here. So what can I do here? How will I fix it? I minus, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one back. Let's have a look what happens now. <laughs> Compile it and run it and... 
Okay. Yay. It's done it. Um, how long did it take? Yay. Thank you. It's five marks. Five marks on the exam. Yeah. Oh, you can, but my goodness, you're going to waste a lot of time doing that. Yeah. I had a question about um, the concatenation. Can you just skip that part totally and write the two strings next to each other, or would you use marks? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you can just skip that part. Out. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in this case, you could do that. You could just delete all that and just write that if you wanted to, right? But we've wisened up from this was one of the very first questions that we wrote um, that was last minute, but that's no longer the case. So the question is not really going to lend itself to something like that now. But yes, you can absolutely, because it will pass the auto tests, right? And for online, it was, can you just write the two strings next to each other and call it a day? You sure can. And what a clever way to do it, thinking outside the box. Oh, very good. Um, see, Chad GPT could have never done that. Um, okay, great. Um, next one. So that's a debug question. How do we all feel debugging? We're all happy with it? No, oh, don't make me sad. Um, sometimes these questions take a while because looking at someone else's code is really awful. Um, especially when that code is not good um, and it has mistakes in there. So that's why the hurdle questions come before these debug questions so that you don't waste time until you know, you've passed some hurdles to do this. But also we found that students have sometimes told us that you know, they get in the exam and they've got the whole like I've just mind blank thing situation going on. Sometimes it helps to look at these little tiny chunks of code that have code in them just to remember some very basic things. So I hope that that can like kind of stir the memory a little bit. Okay, um, let's do it. Okay, let's do some two dot questions then. Did you enjoy your first taste of prayer? We're not up to that yet. Okay, um, let's do some two dots. I'm going to do some linked list two dots first. And let's do, okay. It's just fallen on me. Um, insert a new node into a sorted linked list, maintaining the sorted order. Okay, who thinks they can do this? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Great, good. Two people, three people, yes. Four people, five people. <gasps> five out of 1,000, we're doing good stats here. Um, okay, everyone can do this, right? You're doing it in the assignment, hopefully without the use of chat GPT. Um, so let's do this question, problem six. Okay, so again, you're going to get something that looks like this, right? It does the printing for you. It does the conversion for you of strings to list. You don't have to worry about anything except for the function that actually does the insertion for you. Um, and then you can just, you know, that's it. That's all you really need to do. Okay, so first things first. When you start doing your linked list questions, I want you to always think the first thing is what are the edge cases, right? So what happens in those weird spaces in um, linked lists? And there is a few of them. What happens if you get a, you know, an empty linked list? What happens if you have to insert at the head? What happens if you have to insert at the tail? What happens if um, the thing you're searching for is not in the linked list? Those are the things you should always be kind of thinking about when you do a linked list. So what would be particularly, particular, particularly useful in this particular question? Um, I guess the first things first, I'm going to start with um, having a current node and I'm going to set it to the head. I also get given a value that I want to insert into my linked list. So I could create um, that node straight away. Should we create the node? Who has memorized the three lines of code that might create a new node for you because you've done it so many times with your crepe stand? Oh, some more. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing I do is I malloc some memory um, that will fit a struct node in there. And then I'm going to assign some things in this node. So I'm going to do new node. And the data is going to be this number that was passed to me. So that means the node now has that as the data. And then I'm going to set the next field of the node to null because I haven't inserted it anywhere. So this portion here is what creates the new node ready for insertion. Okay, great. Um, when I'm inserting, when I go through a list, okay, so for example, I've got 3, 7, 10, 16, and I want to insert an 8. If I travel through this list, okay, I need to go past 7 to know that now I've gone too far with the 10. So the 10 is now too big, and that means I want to insert it in here. So, but by the time I've gotten to the 10, I don't know where the 7 is because linked lists is fun. Um, so what can I do to keep track of two nodes? Yeah. Yeah. So in this case, it's really useful to also keep track of a previous node so that you always know what's going on. So if my current node is set to the head of the list, then my previous node is going to start out at null. So it's going to start out before any, anything happens in this list. OK, fantastic. OK, first edge case. Always the first edge case before you kind of start the fun. And the first edge case is going to be what happens if I have an empty list, OK? Then I don't really have to search anything, and I can just insert this node um, into the linked list, OK? How do I check that the list is empty? Yep, so if my current is equal to null, that, that means that the list is empty. So if the current is equal to null, that means the list is empty. And that means that I'm going to say that my head is going to be the new node. And then I'm just going to return the head of the list uh, because my function returns um, a struct node, a pointer to a struct node. So I'm going to return that new head. Done. OK. But that's only one edge case. Amazing. So now we want to do it for the, actually the rest of the list. So now I want to go through the list and find where to insert. OK. Fantastic. What will be my condition that I will be searching for? And it might be more than one. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So I'm going to look for current is not equal to null, which is going to take me to the end of the list. And then I want to look for where to insert as well. No, because then that will keep track of previous and following. So. The current is not equal to null is going to take me to the end of this list, which is perfect. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to look for the, the value of the number. Yeah? So I want to look at where I need to actually stop it. So this is going to make sure I don't fall off the edge of the list. Yeah? And then the next one is I want to know if I've reached my number. So I'm going to look for current data is going to be less than, yeah, number. OK, and if that is the case, so if this is whatever sitting in my node over here is less than number, bless you, um, and the number, let's just say it's 8, um, just to kind of go with this list to make it easier to understand what's going on. So that means, and the list is 3, 7, 10, Bless you. It's hay fever season. OK, so my condition here is that I'm checking that the current data has to be less than number. So whatever is sitting in my node, node, not note, my speaking skills today, has to be less than 8. OK, so what will I do if that's the case? And we can run through it line by line as well, so depending how everyone feels. What, what should I do if, it's, if those two conditions are good? What happens if I go into the loop? Pardon? Okay, you're going to move it along. 
And then what else do I want to do? Because I'm now also keeping track of my previous pointer. Pre equals to current. Where should I do previous is equal to current? Yep. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be chaos. So I want to move my previous along. So what I'm doing here is I'm just moving along the list, okay, until I get to the right place to insert. So I've moved my previous by one, and I've moved my current by one. So that means when I come out of this while loop, either my current is equal to null, which means I'm at the end of the list, uh, or I am now at a place to insert. Okay. So there is another edge case here, but anyway, we, we will see it when it fails. What should I do next? Who knows what to do next? I should just call someone to code at my computer at this point. Yeah. Yep. So if current is null, then yep, then I can just insert it. Okay. Um, what happens if previous is null? So let's do our insertion here and then we can see what, what's, we can see what goes on when we type the list in. Okay, so how will we insert? How will you perform the insertion? So if you want to put it after, this is now the previous node, that means, and this is your current. So your previous next is going to be pointing to, should we draw a diagram? How is everyone feeling? I can see a few people just kind of drifting off, no idea what's going on. Diagram? Who wants a diagram? Come on, give me something, it's week 10. Diagram? No diagram. Diagram. Yes, all right, let's do, someone said no diagram. I mean, this is just impossible to. Okay, here we go. Um, good stuff, just in case I wanted to do passwords again. Where's the whiteboard? Gone. Oh my god, it's going to have my new password. I don't know what my new password is. I did it one and a half hours ago. Um. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. 50 minutes and I knew what it was. Okay. Oh no, now it's stuffed up here. Sorry, I couldn't be more entertaining for you. Um, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with these passwords. Now this one is struggling to log in. You know, just a year ago, we had no two-factor authentication and life was so much. And it was just at the moment where I decided I need to use my phone less. And then now I can never be without it. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so we've got a we've got a list, and I'm going to make this smaller so you can see the code next to it as well. So let's see what happens. Let's say we've got this here, and we our list is going to be three seven ten, 
and 16, and we want to insert 8. Okay, so we'll go through here and we'll set our current to the head, which means that my current is standing over here. And then we're going to set previous is going to be to null. So previous is going to be here and it's null because there is nothing in the list. I'm going to create a new node over here. So with that piece of code, I'm going to make a node. And that new node over here I'm going to malloc some memory for it, which is going to create the structure for me. And then I'm going to assign into its data. I'm going to assign the number, which is 8. And then my next is going to be equal to null. And this is my new node right now. OK, my first edge case, if the list is empty, so if current is equal to null, which means there's nothing in there, I'm going to say that head is equal to that new node, so this new node here. And then I'm going to return the head of the list because that's my new head. OK, and then this is where it gets interesting. So whilst current is not equal to null, which means that I'm going to pulse through this list looking for values, and it's going to get me to the end of the list. And whilst current data is less than number. So what I want to be doing, the logic behind it is, unless I find a place where to insert, and I know that when the number is bigger, then I've gone too far. So the first time I hit that number, I want to stop and exit. So I want to insert here, which means I want my current to be over here and my previous to be over here. So every time that that condition is not met over here, I'm going to continue moving the previous and then I'm going to move the current to the next one. So when I exit out of this list, if we use this particular list here as the example, what is going to be happening is that my previous is going to be standing over here and my current is going to be standing over here. So the way I want to insert it is that previous next is going to want to be pointing to this new node because I want to be able to insert this new node in. So that means that previous next is going to be pointing to the new node. And then I'm going to need to set my new node next. So it's right now pointing to null, but what I want to be doing is then I want to go from the new node and I want to point it to number 10. So I'm going to point my new node to the current node. Okay, so then I'll point it to the current node. Um, and then instead of returning null, I'm going to return the head so that the list is there. Okay, so let's see what happens. There is still some uh, an edge case that can happen, but let's compile it. So um, problem six. Okay, and let's run it. Oh, I forgot to do the list. Okay, let's try this again because... Okay, and now let's run it. And let's do the list. So 3, 7, 10, 10, and 16. And the number I want to insert is 8. Okay. Oh, I think I entered the numbers. Yeah, okay, who knows what I did. Okay, so, and if I insert 8, it's doing it correctly. Okay, what happens, what should I test to make sure the edge cases are met? I'm going to try an empty list. So if I do an empty list and insert a 7, it's going to insert a 7. What else should I try? One item in the list. Okay, let's try one item. And I'm going to insert something. Which way should I insert something? Four, something afterwards. Okay, four is working. What else should I try? Yep, I want to insert something at the head of that list. Haha, -ha. okay, so that's not working. Okay, so why is this not um, doing anything? Yeah, because there's nothing, my previous next node is null, right? There's nothing there, it's still standing at the front. So I want to take care of that over here. So I'm going to say if my previous node is equal to null, which means I'm going to perform an insertion at the head. Okay, so if my previous is equal to null, then what I'm going to do is my new node has to be the head and then I have to, um, my new node next is going to be the old head. So my new node next is going to be equal to whatever the head is and then my head is now going to be the new node. Okay, 
Otherwise, I can just do um, an insertion that I did over here. Okay, so now let's check if that's all working. Okay, compile it and let's run it. Let's run it with, uh, that was an empty list. Okay, let's insert at the head and now it's doing an insertion at the head. Yeah. Okay, so what I did is, okay, if I have um, a list and it's got just the number three in it and I want to insert one, that thing here, because it's going to go at the head, is going to point to the current node, so to the head node. What I've done here is, let's, let's do this again, so it's one, okay, one at, at this point in time over here. So this is my previous, and then my head sleeping. Who's awake? Okay, um, who wants to go through it line by line? Who wants to have a little break? Little break? Little break? Let's have a little break. Okay, let's do a little break, and then you can tell me if you want to go through it. Let's just do hands up if you want line by line after the break. It's a hard audience today. Oh, killing me. All right, let's have a little break. We'll come back. We'll do a deletion next. And I had these two massive strings as well. Let's hope we get to them. Let me mute it. Give me a sec.
All right, let's um, let's let's get the show back on the road. Um, no, I just was on mute. That's why you couldn't hear anything. Um, so that you couldn't hear me answering questions um, on the sidelines. Okay. Um, how's everyone feeling about inserting nodes? Good. 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 I feel like I'm asking the wrong audience, um, but just. Draw a diagram, follow the process. You, you, you've got this. Okay, let's go crazy. Let's delete some nodes. Okay, um, so that's going to be like the second hurdle, right? It's either insert or delete a node, do something, manipulate something, have a great time with it. Sometimes the condition will be rubbish, depends what goes on. And always think of those little edge cases as well. Okay, so um, delete the first instance of a duplicate in the list. Okay, what should we do here? What, what should be our process? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. What will be the kind of like the process you will follow to solve this question when you're sitting in the exam, loving life, drinking from your clear water bottle? Pardon? Okay, yeah, good, just some sort of temp, delete something free, fantastic, just throwing out all those wonderful um, things that you'll need. Okay, so for that person that also asked me about the standard libraries, um, obviously if you malloc some nodes or if you do anything like that or if you use free, you're going to need the standard library.h. You don't have to worry about it. If the question needs it, usually we will include it at the top of the question as well. Um, and um, we're not going to, it's not a test about how many standard libraries you know. Shh. I know, superbly exciting. Um, okay, let's do delete duplicates. Okay, so always first things first. Um, what is the first thing, the first edge case you will always do in every linked list question, what feels like. First edge case, empty list. Yes, what happens if it's an empty list? What on earth do I delete? Nothing. Okay. Empty list. And how do you check if it's an empty list? You check if that head is equal to null. Okay, and if it is, I'm just going to return um, the head. There's nothing in it. I'm just going to return a null. Okay, now when I'm deleting some duplicates from a list, okay, I would have to have a list of some items to have any duplicates in it. So what will be one more thing that I will check for? Can I delete a duplicate in a list of one item? No. That's just... No, no. I mean, it. there's... The common sense does not allow that. It's not a duplicate. So here I will check um, also if perhaps that um, I will also check if head next is equal to null. So if there is one item in the list. Okay. So I'm going to check is it an empty list or if there's one item in the list. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to return the head, which is either going to return null um, when it's an empty list or it's going to return the, the pointer to that one item that is in their list. So the head is just going to cover both of those cases. Okay, so now that I've taken care of those um, pesky edge cases, I'm actually going to have to do some work and I'm going to have to look for some duplicates, look for, look for things to delete. Okay, so I'm going to have a current node that I'm going to walk around with um, and that's the one I'm going to use to traverse the lists, okay? And what, what is going to be my condition that I will use to kind of look for my duplicates? What will be the while? I will do, but how will I move through the list? Yeah, I'm just going to check if the, am I going to go all the way to the end of the list? Or current next, what am I going to do? Current next, you think it's current next? I'm going to stop at the second last element. What happens if that last element in the list is a duplicate? No, no, like, because if you go to current next is not equal to null, you don't visit the last node. You skip the last node. But you want to visit every single node on your journey to deletion. 
So I'm going to check that current is not equal to null. Um, and now I'm going to do some absolute magic. Well. Okay, who knows how to solve this? You want to sort it? How much time do you have in this exam? You're going to use bubble sort? Are you going to use... Yeah, oh, beautiful. You've got an algorithm in mind? Amazing. Hey, I'm going to... Okay, go on. Uh, I don't know. There's two of you right next to each other. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. So you've probably seen we do this a lot. We kind of visit a node and then we start going through all the rest of them and then we go to the next node and then we visit the rest of them. And then so we continually kind of do this um, sometimes inefficient checking. But again, we don't care about efficiency in 1511, so you're going to have a great time. Um, you can do whatever you want. Take as much time and complexity as you want to do these questions. Okay, so let's do some traveling. I feel like it's getting a bit. Dull, should we get some people to just... I was thinking we should do like a line of code at a time and have it like, like a bit of like... Do you remember you used to play this game in primary school where everyone used to write a sentence and then you used to pass a piece of paper along? I feel like we should do that. Yeah, who, who wants to do that to live in it up a bit? Okay, who's going to write the first line of code in the loop? We had a hand up over here. I, I, it was, <laughs> all right, go. Wait, let's go. Oh, but now you're also, you're also positioned so badly. Let's do it. First line of code. Who's going to do the next line of code? Are you just all waiting to see what line of code? I'm not having a good day today. Sorry. You go. No, you go. <laughs> just don't reveal your password. I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, you got the best line of code. Uh, that's true head as well. Okay. And that is a typo. Okay, other, what a, what a name for a node. Um, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, next person, amazing. Yeah, go, let's go, yes. Let's go the next person after that as well. Let me link list them up. All right, go on. All right, next line. So we've got something that will keep track and you can change and, and anything that someone else has done as well. Oh, I Let's can. make it controversial. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, I agree with you. Yes, I agree, except for the spelling mistake. Yeah. Uh, I know, the pressure, the pressure. Wait, let's think. Uh, right, while... Uh, okay, excellent. So now we've got our next loop, maybe. Okay. Next person. Who's going to be next after this? Amazing! Yes! And you can change anything that someone else has done. Oh, I see, I see. There is a few different ways of doing it. So this is what makes it fun. Oh, man. You're just doing the beautiful. Yep. Now, that's the person that knows how to do this game. You just um, move the list along. Yes. Go on. Yes. Oh, absolutely. You might need those. Who's next? Who's the person who's done this before? There was someone else that's done this before. Mm, this int, right? Uh, the data is in, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How hard is it to read someone else's code and not make spelling mistakes? Okay, amazing. Okay, so what have we got? What's this soup right now that we have here? If current, while current is not equal to null, so we're moving through the list, we've got struct node other is equal to current. Should we draw it up? What's currently happening? And then the next person can come and do um, the next thing. Okay. I was going to say someone has left. That's how much they didn't like this idea. But no, they're coming in. They're joining the fun. Okay. 
So we have right now, okay, let's do a list. Let's have a fake list and it's going to be three. What's going on here? My two um, things have disconnected from each other. Oh, it's this. My this board has disconnected. Uh. Oh, it's because I got kicked off the Wi-Fi for my new password change. And now I'm in a different language here and... All right. This is not my day today. Um, it's still not on the Wi-Fi. How can this be? Come on, connect, connect. You can do it. You can do it. I'm going to do it like this, okay? Okay. Okay, um, whilst it's connecting me to the Wi-Fi, which seems to be taking its jolly good time. Um, okay, so we've got struct node, others, um, other, um, current, next. So let's say our list looks like, let's say our list is three, four, four, nope, four, five. Okay, so that means over here that other is going to be current, next, and current is the head. So that means what we have here is my current is sitting at three and my other is going to be sitting at four. Okay, so I'm going to start circling now. So whilst other is not equal to null, which means that I'm going to go through the list starting at the element after the current, I'm going to search. So if other data, so if whatever is in that second list, so if four is equal to current data, so whatever came before it, so three um, it's not so I'm not gonna are we missing a bracket as well okay so I'm going to move this list along if I haven't if if there isn't anything happening and then I'm gonna move the other list along okay we're not really doing anything yet who wants to do the next line of code I'm still connecting to the Wi-Fi. It should be, I don't know how long it should be. Oh, it's still got the wrong password. Mm -hmm. Unhelpful. Who wants to do the next line of code? You can't do another one. You've done one. It's not meant to be embraces? Okay. But I want someone to delete that on the next go. On the fun. Come on, one of you. One of you. No? No? Okay. Anyone? Anyone? Come on! It's fun to get it wrong. Gab, whilst I'm... That wasn't meant to be a calling you up, but that could be fun too. Gab? <laughs> Give us a line of code. I'm so close. You gotta come up. You gotta type it on my beautiful keyboard. Which every single other person has made a spelling mistake on, so oh, I'm back. <laughs> See, this is how I check that you're paying attention in the in the lecture. I thought it was up the next. So, maybe delete it first. Wait. Okay, so we've got whilst current is not equal to null, which is going to pass us through this first list. Struct node other is equal to current next. So other is there. Whilst other is not equal to null, so null is over here. We're not going to get to there. If other data, so if other 
data is equal to current data, then I'm going to keep going. Is this, is this for deleting if they're next to each other or is this the generic? It's case? deleting a duplicate. Well, if the, duplicate the, the bracket is, is off as well, yeah. But it's up to you if you want to delete it. <laughs> Which bracket is off? I'm saying... <laughs> I love when people collect my style. Yeah, my style is awful. Um, don't do as I do. Come on, someone. Which student wants to give me a next slide? Yes, you want to give me a line of code. I know you do. I can feel it. Yes, thank you. Sorry, Gab. Go on. Anyways. It's all about being wrong. We're, we're, you're not we're, scared we're, okay. of being wrong. What do you think in the exam? You're going to get everything right. No. You might. Don't know. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Um. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was some brain man stuff <laughs> right there. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Why not? That sounds like you want to write the next line. Yeah, I feel like you, you've asked. Yeah, go on then. Go on. Yes. Here we go. One more line. You can fix it. You can remove it. You can add it. I guess we need to introduce another one, which is Tim. Yep, I agree. It's equal to... Or, uh, I agree. Is it to no, like wait. No, I agree with that. Um, is it good to other? I guess. And yeah. we say like, color next. Is it good to color? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at some point, you're going to really hit a null pointer there. And we're going to connect back. Wait, I guess something wrong, right? Other, other next. Current, we connect current, so. I know what you're trying to do, but there's a. You've gone too many nodes ahead. So we free call others. I guess we Find deleting is always harder than um, inserting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to? Who wants to fix this line of code to not have three next? Which I do appreciate because I do love a question that just next, next, next. Yeah. First duplicate, so I think, well, no, I don't think I do. I wrote the question, so I should know what enough it's saying. Um, what it's saying is if you have three, four, four, five, four again, okay, you're going to delete this first duplicate here. The first duplicate of the first one, yeah. You would like to write a line? Do I exit the loop? Potentially. There's a whole bunch of things happening that are not going to work right now. Well, not a whole bunch. There's a few things happening that are not going to work for us at all right now. Next line. Or you want... Okay. Go on. What will you fix? Talk us through it. Uh, well, that doesn't work. That's just assigning it to other. Mm-hmm. So That's that right. So the temp is other. We already have what other is. You want other dash You next. do want other next. I agree. Current, okay, what happens next? You want to change this to temp. So you, if, you, if they're the same, you change it to temp. And then okay. you free other. 
Okay, and then what happens next? Oh, well, no, I guess I should call it quits now. Go on then. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was too, too much excitement. You're having a day like me, clearly. Just don't show your password to the whole lecture. I think we, we could uh, okay, create a, uh, sorry, a struct node here. to uh, check the previous one. Okay, yeah. Equal to current. Then here, K. Okay. Hmm. The other here we turn that. This is not current. Okay. The other, oh, sorry, previous. Yeah. This. Yep. Here is ten is uh okay, that's okay. Okay, you've never moved the previous uh, along? Then uh yeah. Just to put a bit of pressure on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, equal to add them. Yeah, I think that's okay. You think this is gonna work? Yeah. Do we think that we're done? I, I like a bit of crazy smile on my face maybe <laughs> gives away the answer. Let's run it, okay? Because like, why would you just keep going? You know, just let's just run it. Let's see what it gives us. This is the moment of truth. It compiled. <laughs> I mean, well, that's nice fruit salad and it, yep, yeah, okay. Um, okay, three, four, four, five. It should delete one of the fours. Oh! oh. <laughs> what magic! Is it gonna fail somewhere? What should we try? It, it did it. Three, four, five, four. You wanna delete at the, at the tail, the last node. Have what? Two th Let's delete the head, okay. Oh, you can't delete the head. Oh my God, have we solved it? <laughs> Three, four, five, five, four. Oh, good one, okay. It does, yeah. It deleted the first duplicate. I actually cannot believe this. <laughs> I mean, I got a bit lost in your um, variable names. Um, they rival my own. Um, what about a null list? Oh, someone has really... Well, that's... The if statement is just going to cover that. I like that. Hey? I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm traumatized that this has. We should do coding like this all the time. My God, we just. Well, it works. Um, should we run through it line by line? I mean, I think I applaud the last person that fixed the issues. Well done. Good for you. Well done. Okay, someone saying yes. Okay. Okay, in the theater, who wants to run through it line by line? I mean, I'd like to, quite frankly. I'd like to know what's going on. Yep, okay, let's do it. I mean, three people raised their hands, but I want to, so we're doing it. Um, and I think it would be useful as well. Oh, a few people did. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's run through it, the whole thing. Okay, so what have we got? Magic, we've got magic. Okay, let's say the list that we're putting in is three, four, four, five, and then null. And the first thing we're doing, if the head is null, it's not null. If the head next is null, if there's only one item, it's not that. Otherwise, it would have returned head. Then we set the current to the head. So the current is going to sit over here. 
whilst current is not equal to null, so whilst this current is not sitting over here at the X point, we're going to say struct node other has recovered. Uh, okay, we've got other and it's current next, good. Then we've got previous and the previous is set to current. I don't quite see the purpose of that, but there we have it. So now we're over here. Oh, maybe there is. Yes, there is. Okay, previous is equal to current. Okay, now, whilst other is not equal to null. So whilst this one here oh, is not equal to null, whilst this one here is not equal to null, we're going to keep going through. If other data, so if whatever's sitting in other, so if my four is equal to equal to current data, is it equal to three? No, it's not. So I'm going to move past this if statement and I'm going to say previous is equal to other. So that means previous is now going to move over here and other is going to go to other next. Okay, so we're basically just abandoning uh, names that make sense and we're going with other and instead of current. Okay, good. So now we've got other over here. Current is still over there. We haven't done anything to it right now. Previous is now over here. I love this. Okay. And is other equal to null? No, it's not. So we're going to go in here. If other data is equal to current data. So now we're checking if my other, which is four, is equal to my current data, which is three. And it's not. So I'm not going to go in here. And I'm going to move the previous to other. And my other is going to go to the next one. Great, okay, then I'll go back and I'll check again, is other equal to null? No, it's not. I'll go in here and I'll check, is my other data, so is five equal to whatever was sitting at current? No, it's not. So that means I don't go into this if statement and I'm going to move my previous along and I'm going to move my other along. And then when I check my while, if my other is not equal to null, it is. So I'm going to exit out of this while loop and I'm going to go into my um, first while loop, not the inner one, and I'm going to increase my current now. So my current is going to move to over here, and then I'm going to start my cycle again. My other is going to be current next, so my other is going to go in here, and my previous is going to go in here. Okay, great, we're almost up to the stage where we do a deletion. Okay, if other data is equal to current data. So my other data is 4 and my current is 4. Yes, it is, which means that I'm going to go into this if statement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a temp node. And that temp node is going to be equal to other next. So the temp node is going to be pointing to this 5 over here. And my previous next. So I want my previous over here to point to this node. So that's what I've done in here. And then I'm going to free the other node. And then I'm going to return the head after I've done it. And voila, that's amazing. This is actually, I'm so impressed. That was not a good example of that game. That was a lot more fun when I was a kid when the sentences didn't make sense. Um, okay, that was amazing. Well done. How good's that? Uh, we don't have a lot of time left. So I'm going to try and do another question. Which one should I do? Oh. Let's do this one really quickly. Okay, just because we haven't done an array question and then on Wednesday we can do strings. Okay, let's do write a C program that finds the sum of the minimum numbers in each row of a 2D array. So, let's have a look at that one. Problem 11. Okay, and this one we have about five minutes to do it in. So this is going to hit hard. Um, okay, so in an array question, you'll always get given a test array and then you'll get a printf statement as well. So you don't have to worry about that. You are just going to need to write the function. Okay, in your function, how will you look for things that um, are going to have? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna hit this? 
Who knows? Yeah. In here? Yeah, because the first is not for because the constant. Yeah, it can be. It, so when we, when we do our testing in your exams, we undefine the main, like we remove the main, and that's how we pass your answers through. So there is, sometimes there is really weird things that we do, and that's so that it fits with auto testing. Just in this, not, you wouldn't, not, it's only because of the way we needed to So we want to, so I think I didn't word it very well. Basically, you want to go through each row, find the minimum number in each row, and then add it to the next minimum number in the next row, and then the next row, and then the next row. Yeah, but there's uh, like 100 columns in the slides for the array. It is, but they might not all be used. For example, like, uh, test So zero, for example, if, if, there, is, if there are like positive integers, so the minimum number will all be like zero. Yeah, which is not going to affect the sum. Is that what you're saying? I don't think I know what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, come come after the in five minutes, just because I want to yeah. It's gonna check heaps, yes. Which is wild, right? Shouldn't yeah, we don't Yes, yes, yes. I, I see what you're trying to say. Yes, yes. Oh, we'll fix it in a second. Okay, well, let's, let's do this code. Yes, yes, I see what you're trying to say now. Yeah. could do that, but less. We want to do less. These are the like the easier questions. So questions 9, 10, 11, 12, go to town. Do whatever on earth you like. The first four questions, keep it really simple. The questions are meant to be kept really simple, like 10 to 15, maybe 20 lines of code at the most. Then afterwards, you can do whatever on earth you want. Just don't um, don't make system calls. Other than that, you can do whatever you want. Um, okay, so let's quickly do this. Um, let's have a look. What are we doing? Um, let me fix this for you just by literally doing this, and that will solve it for a, a few minutes. Okay, and what should go in here? I didn't really need to delete that. What are we going to do? Everyone's like, oh, struck node current is equal to head. No, we're in the rays now. Yeah. Okay, so I want a sum to sum them all up, and I want a minimum number 
that will pick me a minimum number. We're going to run out of time because I have to finish at five minutes too. There's a lot of pressure. I'm going to finish it because I'm not going to be able to do this in one minute. We're going to pick it up on Wednesday. Plus, I've got these two bizarre string questions that were really fun. Um, maybe not for you, but examples of question nine, basically. So, all right, let's finish there. Have a lovely time doing the practice exam. Enjoy it, especially the last question for those that are going to attempt it. I'll see you on Wednesday. Um, thank you very much. And that's going to be the last lecture, which is really sad. Oh, we forgot to do lollies. Just throw some out now as people are leaving. <laughs>